So we're back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're back. Right here. So we have the same cup. Yep. So, we're definitely you know. not on the same day. <laughs> he was a student, I'm still a student in Korea yes, and we both yes. came on scholarships. Yes, that's so, right. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are interested in scholarships because you know not many people can afford to come here sure. and scholarships is a great way for you know people to come here and then experience life here. Yes. So today we're going to talk about our scholarships. Yes. So I am under a Malaysian government scholarship which is called um, awesome. JPA. JPA. It's an institution. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Uh, I came on the Korean Government Scholarship. Uh, we call it Global Korea Scholarship, GKS. Uh, we used to call it KGSP, Korean Government Scholarship Program before, but now it's changed to GKS. Now I'm here after graduation. I stayed here. <laughs> I've been here for a long, long time. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to compare both of these scholarships so you guys can choose. So let's start with the application process. Guys, I will say ours is better. Oh. You gotta wait till the end. <laughs> no, you, you can only I'm judge you, at the I'm end. You. <laughs> we have this thing called SPM, which is sort of SATs in Malaysia. Okay. So after we took that, we used those results to mm -hmm. apply for the scholarship. Okay. And then once we apply, once you're called in for an interview, we have two rounds of interviews. Mm -hmm. One is a group interview, mm -hmm. and then one is an individual interview. We have to do activities. Like to showcase like how how much of a leader you are, sort of, because mm -hmm. they really want to choose people who can not only study but can also lead. Right. It sounds really hard already. How many people come every year? To Around 30-40? 30, 40. 30, 40. 40. Very competitive, yeah. I guess. Well, a, a GK scholarship is pretty easy. What happens is like if you're applying for bachelor's, like undergrad, you have to have high school and your entire previous academic history should be 80% plus. When when the Korean government announces for, for the scholarship, you send your documents, like whatever documents you have, like your high school documents, if you have IELTS or TOEFL, but there's no requirement of this kind of, you have to send this, this document. Just your high school graduation certificate is the most important. So you send those documents and all other documents that could help your application to the Korean embassy because there are two channels for a GKS scholarship. One, you can apply through the embassy of you, of Korea in your country. Second is the directly to the university. So they have chosen like a set of universities. So you can e either apply directly to the university or you can apply through the embassy. Normally, Pakistan is only two people who can come for undergrad, but for grad school, between t 10 and 20. So if the, e the embassy finalizes your documents, they will take an inter interview and then they will check and then they will shortlist a few of the people and then they will send it to NIIID, which is the institution in Korea that runs this scholarship program. That is the second round. So this is one channel. Other channel is like you directly apply to the university and then the university, a lot of universities show all these people and then they send it to NIID and then NIID choose the final ones. This is the second channel. So that's how you apply. The interviews are pretty easy, not that hard. So next, let's talk about allowance. Interesting. The amount that you have, that you got, was it enough for you at the time? At that time, yeah, in 2008, it was enough. Honestly speaking, we like under, in undergrad, we used to get 800,000 won, pretty much like $750 per month. And that's only for your personal expenses. expenses. Your tuition is paid by the government directly to the university. And then out of that 800,000 Korean won, you have to pay for your either your dorms or if you want to live off campus, you know, you pay for the, for the rooms. But in, in grad school, you get a little bit more. So it, it depends. Now from this year, I think, or the next year, every new student will get 900,000 in undergrad. And same goes for mas masters and PhD, it will go up, up. Well, I'm lucky to like live in a dormitory. Okay. Because like I get the full allowance while my Malaysian government also pays for my dormitory. And oh. then I also receive like a monthly allowance from the dorm uh -huh. because we're not allowed to cook in the dorm. We always have to eat outside. Cool. So I get allowance from the government and also the dormitory. So mm -hmm. like a total of 810,000 won. Okay. And then I don't have bills to pay because, you know, yeah, because in the I'm in the dormitory. So the only right. bill I have to pay is just phone bill. <laughs> that sounds fancier. More, more than GKS. We win this round. Pretty much. Is there anything? Like any conditions? I don't think it's conditional in GKS, but of course you have to get like a better GPA. If you don't yeah, get yeah. a good GPA, then they will give you a warning. What's the cutoff point? Out of 4.5, uh -huh. you need to at least get like 2 or 2.5. But it's pretty low. It's everybody crosses that in Korea. Yeah. You know, if you get lower than that, that GPA score, yeah, you will get a warning, two times warning, and then the third time you're off. 
we have a cutoff point of 3.0. Oh, really? Yeah. Out of 4.5. Out of 4.5. Oh, that's pretty so high. We have to get above 3.0 for every semester. Okay. No, if you study hard, it's not that yeah, 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 difficult. Like, I mean, it's not impossible. Yeah, in, but like uh, crossing 3 is not, not very hard. Yeah. If, Coming from a guy who doesn't study that much when oh, he was in school. <laughs> so yeah, that's, it'll be fine. <laughs> that's, that's a secret. What about language though? Because like when I came, actually before I came, we did nine months of Korean language in Malaysia and then we flew to Korea we continued another year mm -hmm. in Seoul National University yeah so a year and nine months for us so that's a lot of time well GKS because we're a lot of students in every semester almost thousand students so it's really hard for them to adjust us in one university uh, they they give us different universities for language for example they will send a group of people to a certain university and another group of people to another university and they will study Korean language for only one year within one year you have to get minimum topic level three to get into the university but of course like if you're applying for good universities they're very competitive so it's better to get like better better topic score topic is the Korean language proficiency test so we have to cross like level three within a year it's kind of short time as compared to the Malaysian scholarship but at the same time it saves your time because you don't want to like put too much time on the language you straight want to go to school and you want to finish your degree so you can study Korean while you're studying your your degree too that's how they think about it yeah first we took the topic twice one while we were in Malaysia uh, one and in another Malaysia. one while we studied in Korea yeah. for one year because this topic one and topic two right when in Malaysia we took topic one and then I think we had to get the I think we had yeah. to get level two then when we came to Korea we took topic two it depends on which university we're going to because yes. some universities want topic 5, Ask some more. want level, you know, topic oh, 4, okay. so it depends, but most of us got at least a level 4. What universities do you guys go to? Like, I mean, do you have some in certain general? universities in um, Korea or is, is it like open? Most of us go to universities where we already have seniors there, so it's mm, easier okay. because we don't know anything. So, Hanyang, Korea University, Kodae, right. Konguk University, Inha University, Songgyungwan University. Mm -hmm. I think those are like where most of us go. There are like one or two people who go to Yonsei, Iwade. So it's up to you, you choose yeah, the university? Choose, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Any university Any you university. can choose all over yep. Korea. Oh, in GKS, there's a list of oh. universities all over Korea. Oh. They give you options like you choose two universities or three universities. My first priority is this university. If I don't get in here, then my second is here, my third is here. And same goes for your major, like first major, second major, third major. So you, you give options. You know, the, if the first level university doesn't choose you, then your application goes for the second level mm -hmm. university. This kind of stuff, if you go through the embassy channel. Mm -hmm. But if you directly apply to the university, then of course you all already apply for one university. You cannot apply for other university. Mm -hmm. You know, we have students almost everywhere in Korea. Pretty much every university you will find some GKS mm -hmm. students now. Yeah. So you're, you're never going to be alone. Every university has a GKS circle of students and then they help each other. The, the university is also taking care of the GK students because they are government scholarship, Korean government scholarship students. Well for us, because we apply through the university, it's rare for a student to not be accepted by the university because like the university knows that we're sponsored by the Malaysian the government. government. The only time that a student has ever been rejected, not really rejected, but he couldn't apply was because he missed the deadline. <laughs> you know, even though we go through the university, but like all of us just get accepted because we're already filtered by the Malaysian government. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. After you know, we graduate, do you have to pay back the scholarship or like is, is there any bond to the scholarship? Uh, no, no, like for GKS, what happens is like if you give up in the middle of the scholarship, then you might need to pay back. But like after graduation, for us, it's not necessary to go back to your country you can live here in Korea you can go back you can go wherever you want you, you don't have to pay back for us after we graduate we have to go back and work in Malaysia if we work with a government linked company or um, we get like sort of a discount but if we work with the government we don't have to pay back at all oh really yeah but then if we want to stay here in Korea we have to pay full yeah, but it makes sense because they're sponsoring people. True, true. I mean, yeah. We are assets to the country. Right, right, so right. obviously we have to go back and work there. That's the most important thing is I think don't be scared of applying for scholarships. Try a little bit harder and prepare yourself. Look through the documents, what you need to put and make them and then apply. If you want to come to Korea, come here as a student. I think that's a really great way and Definitely. easy way to live here and learn the culture and meet the people just like us. <laughs> we love Korea. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.